and keep that vibe from a side down. You went there, ladies and gents. How's it going? I'm out with Triumph. I've not been out on this properly for ages. Well needed. Absolutely. What am I doing? I'm off on another one of my motor vlog in history motor vlogs. And I'm heading back down to the historic dockyard of Portsmouth Harbour. Really looking forward to this. It's my final visit there. Well, not necessarily my final, final visit there. But it's my final visit there on this annual pass I bought this time last year. It runs out tomorrow. So, uh, yes, I've got to get this done. Now I've got two attractions left to visit down there. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to get them both done. So what have I got left to do? I've got the Mary Rose, which I'd really like to do. But I've also got HMS Warrior. And I think HMS Warrior should take priority for you guys just because I think that one will make a better video. So I'll do Warrior and then if I've got time I'll go down and see the Mary Rose as well. I really am hoping that I do have time to get the Mary Rose done as well. Just for my own benefit. So let's get our asses down to the dockyard. Oh it's well slippery. Up here, there's just no grip. Already had a little slide, that's a shame. I was hoping to showcase how awesome I am at riding on this 360 camera, and I'm not going to be able because it's too slidey. Bloody winter, bloody winter indeed. some 360 time all the same awesomes so yes HMS Warrior and the Mary Rose now both are very impressive I don't know a huge amount about Warrior no, to be honest I don't know a huge amount about Mary Rose I don't know a huge amount about anything really <laughs> but yes Warrior it never acted as a Warrior <laughs> it never went to war It was a very impressive ship in its day. Can't remember the years is, um, but it never saw battle. Although the threat of it was quite intimidating, I believe, and that quite possibly put a few of them off having a pop. <laughs> and the Mary Rose, well, that I believe was Henry VIII's ship. Well, not his ship, but ship from the Henry VIII era, I believe. My bro, can't remember. But I remember them pulling that up. I was out on the soda with my old man when I was a little lad, going sailing with him on a boating holiday to the Isle of Wight or something along those lines. And yeah, they were pulling it up on their hoists and winches and buoyancy aids and stuff. It was very exciting and was all over the news at the time. Anyways, we're on dual carriageways now and then motorways. Which are all rubbish. So, see you in a bit. Oh, Portsmouth, I do like to visit you. I do indeed do. Hello, HMS Warrior. Oh. Let's get you in the hole. Spinnaker tower there, looking spinnakery. Let's turn you off, you're about to die anyway. Alright, let's go and have an explore. She's a good looking ship, isn't she? Well, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Of all the days, of all the days to pick to come down and see HMS Warrior, it's bloody closed. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Warrior is not going to happen today, unfortunately, which is a real, real shame. Um, but yes, this is HMS Warrior, and I can't play on it. What well, buggerer! There is a name for a ship, isn't it? HMS Buggerer. <laughs> 
Oh well. Um, right, well that does mean that I'm going to have time to go and see the Mary Rose, which is awesome for me because I really want to go and see the Mary Rose. Um, I don't know how that's going to look for a video though. I don't know what light's going to be in there. I think it was pretty dark when I went down there last time. And um, yes, yeah, so we just have to wait and see if I can video in there and you can see anything if I am able to video in there. Um, but yes, so this is my final visit to the historic dockyard of Portsmouth. Shame about Warrior. Serves me right for putting it off. We had so many lovely days that I could have come down here and seen that. Um, but I got distracted and did other things instead. So, let's go see the Mary Rose. So yes, the Mary Rose is one of Henry VIII's ships. It was one of the first ones he commissioned uh, as king. So when he became king, he uh, got two ships built. One was called the Mary Rose. And it's a 400 ton um, and it cost him uh, in the region of 700 pounds uh, with that and its sister ship which was only 300 tons. So this would have had one of the roses on it. Yeah. <laughs> it was part of the ship's badge. Rose sank in July 1545 and was raised 437 years later in October 1982. So this is the Mary Rose. What's left of it? That is so amazing. Well, they pulled this on the seabed without it destroying. It's just incredible. They've got all these decks. I mean, you know, they're very much crumbled pieces if they took the scaffolding away. Just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So why did the Mary Rose sink? Well, there was only one eyewitness report, apparently. The rest was guesswork. But what is thought is that after having fired one set of guns, with all the guns being on either side of the ship, it turned hard to then be able to fire his other side of guns. And just as it was turning, they left the gun ports open on the lower gun rails and the boat tilted over as it was turning. Those gun ports then filled with water causing the boat to tilt further and further until it capsized and went completely filled with water itself and just then, yep, yeah, then it went down. the stuff here has been recovered from under the sea. The only things that aren't are these silicon bits to mock up to show you what they would have looked like had they survived. But all the wooden bits and the metal bits, they're the real deal. standing at the moment is where the main mast would have been. You can see the main mast in the picture at the back there maybe. That would have been where I'm standing now. It's 
just magnificent. This was Mary Rose's dog. The skeleton was found just by the entrance to the master carpenter's cabin. It's a healthy male, between one and a half and two years old. And they look between a cross between a terrier and a whippet. And they've been used for catching rats possibly. How amazing. I know you're going to be getting loads of reflection of the windows and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But it's really cool. See that gun port there? Fantastic. So this gun port that we're looking at now, that would have been roughly in the middle of the ship. So they've only really managed to salvage half of it by the looks of things. Still. Grateful for what we got, eh? Okay, so only half of the Mary Rose actually survived. And that's this half that we see here. Because the boat landed on its side when it hit the seabed, this side got buried in the silt. And the other half of it was left exposed. And through the course of time, the sea, corrosion, salt, oxygen in the water, fishes, all sorts of stuff. The half that was poking out just got eroded away. And the protective silt built up around them in this part of the boat, what remains. And uh, yeah, protective dirt. That's why I don't wash my bikes in the winter. <laughs> wow, there's even like cloth or potato sacks. Pair of shoes, fantastic. And again, I'm now standing on the deck lower where the main mast would be. Now I'm kind of assuming that all these things, including these shoes and tools and jugs and stuff, are all roughly found where they're located here. Archers, quills, or whatever you call them. Amazing. I mean, the protective power of mud. <laughs> it's just amazing. Here's a fine day.
past four. As you can see the main mast there, which is where I was standing on the lower decks. So it's the uh, starboard side that has survived. With that being the aft of the ship, coming down to here, which is the middle, I'm on the main mast point again and going forward. Now the bows of the ship are gone, as is the port side. Well, what's quite interesting, I didn't realise this is that they had forward-facing cannons but not on the front of the ship sort of in the middle <laughs> gives you a little bit of defence or rather it gives you a little bit of an opportunity to attack as you approach ships it's all technical, you know, they've got all airlocks and stuff like that we're not allowed out until that door there is shut. <laughs> I'm a prisoner. Let me out. Thank you. <laughs> it's just amazing how much has survived and been found in such an awkward environment to find it. Such little bits, little trinkets, rings. Necklaces. And the fact that the clothes, the leather, has survived. Just amazing. Mmm, shiny.
So that's the uh, bit I remember from sailing in the Solent. Watching them pulling that up. Okay, so goodbye historic dockyard in Portsmouth Harbour. I'm sorry I didn't get to do the Warrior. Really gutted about that to be honest. That will teach me for leaving it till lastminute.com. Had so many opportunities to get down here. Oh well, maybe I'll do it in the future. But what a bloody awesome visit, eh? That Mary Rose, she's summoned. I really, really loved that visit. It was just awesome, awesome to get around the Mary Rose and to be able to take my time doing it. So it's a good thing the Warrior was out of action. It gave you more time to explore the Mary Rose. Just seeing all the leather clothes and the arrows, the archer's arrows. It's just amazing. And the fact that they found pretty much complete skeletons as well. Well, I guess if they were buried in the silt, quite quickly then fishies and stuff wouldn't have been able to get to them so easily to pull their bones apart you would have thought the crabs and stuff would have had a crow but I guess crabs don't really run away with bones and things they're a little bit small for that <laughs> so as we head out of Portsmouth for this final time for this video series that is anyway I've just got a few things to say to you. If you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. Although this is the end of this video series, I will be doing plenty more like it. Plenty more. The UK just has so much to offer. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. We like them thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a little thumbs down. It's all good, I don't mind. Whatever you do, please drop in a comment. Let me know what it was you liked and what it was you didn't. Any houses? You ride safe. Take care. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that body, rubber side down.